Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today we've got another video in the Solus tutorial series. Today we are going to be working with panels. We're, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to uh, add applets, how to move them around, how to add a panel, how to remove a panel, all that kind of good stuff. So you want to learn how to do that? Stay tuned and watch. Solus development team had made it really easy to set up the panels just the way that you want it. So let's get started by we'll come over to and open up Raven, which is this little I don't know what you want to call this app, the little arrow looking dude right there. And that opens up Raven, which is this side panel here. Now, if you go and hit the little gear icon, that takes you into settings. We're going to go to panel. And from this point, you can go and move panels around. So you can go top or bottom. Um, or, you know, maybe you've already got one panel, but you want a secondary panel. You can do that. You can go and add a panel. So now you got one on the top and the bottom. And, uh, you know, personally, I just like one. So I'm going to go back and remove the bottom panel. So you can see I switched where it says manage panels. I switched it to the uh, bottom panel and now I'm going to remove it so we're back to just having the top panel so right now I've just got the default set up here but um, let me go and uh, for starters I'm going to go and I'm going to add an applet so there is a screenshot applet I'm going to click on that and click on the plus so that it's added and you can see it's right there in the center that's where that's where it popped up I really don't want it there um, probably I'm trying to think here where where's the best place to go well and kind of while we're talking about this we'll we'll move things around I'll show you how to move things around uh, for one I don't want my clock over here on on the uh, on this over in the corner so I'm going to click on the clock and I'm going to use these up and down arrow buttons to move it. And where I like the clock is centered. And I don't really want that little screenshot thing there right next to it. So I'm going to click on the screenshot over here in the uh, uh, over here in the uh, Raven side panel. And now I'll use the down buttons to move that over. And, I think that's probably the best place for it um, so we'll keep that there and let's see the other thing I want to add there is a places icon that they have these days uh, where is it there it is right there places so we're going to add that one as well and let's see we'll go and we'll click on it over here places and I want to move that one so it'll be right next to my menu. Now there's also spacers that you can add. So if you want to add some space between things, you can do that as well. And once again, you know, if I wanted, maybe I wanted this panel down on the bottom, I could do that just by under position, go and switch it to bottom, and now it's on the bottom. I don't like panels down there, so I'm going to put it back to the top. Uh, and then you got a size, so you can play around with the size uh, depending on you know what uh, how big or how small you want it I'm going to stick with the default size just because that's fine with me um, and that's you know pretty pretty much it as far as setting up the panels I mean there's there's not a lot to it it's pretty easy to do oh the other thing I want to see, you can go and uh, as far as the position of the applets you can drag and drop them so I can move this and switch the order there you can also go and right click on an icon like this. This is for hex chat. I never use it. I'm never going to use it. I don't need to have it there so I can just unpin it from the panel that like that. Um, you know, if I wanted to get rid of VLC, I could do the same thing. I could switch the order around here, but I think that gives you the general idea of things that you can do, uh, you know, as far as setting up your panels the way just the way that you want them. 
And, uh, you know, I know this video was really short, but uh, as far as setting up the panels, there's not a whole lot to it, and uh, uh, it's fairly easy to explain. So um, keep an eye out for more of the Solus tutorials. I'm going to keep doing these, try to crank out as many as I can for, uh, for the new Solus users out there, uh, hopefully help them out a little bit. So as always, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I try to get to it as soon as possible. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And as always, uh, I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot.